Hi, in this video I'll show you a good hint. For, exa <coughs> for example, you don't want to use currency switcher. You don't want to allow users switch to another currencies on your shop. But you want feature uh, when customers from different countries pay different price in your shop currency. So I mean, for example, from the Spain uh, customer will pay $100, from Germany uh, $80, for example, from another country uh, $200. So how to do that? So you don't want to allow customers to select any uh, currencies. You don't need currency switcher. You don't want, you just only want to manage your prices for different regions of the planet. In such case, let's do that. Let me show. So, remove all currencies instead of uh, basic currency. This is currency of your shop. All prices in your products installed in your shop. So, uh, you, your customer will not be able to, to select any currency because it doesn't exist. Only one currency, basic. In advanced, it is multiply allowed, set no. In individual Geo IP rules for each product, set yes. And just now, you can do your magic. You can go to the each product and for each country, for example, Spain, uh, United Kingdom, United States, and group, uh, what's more, any, any, any country, Poland, for example. In such way, you can manage your prices for different countries for each product without any without any change without any currency changing it's not possible to change it of course uh, in such case better remove this widget but it's just my developer site uh, so as you can see it will be working for example I'm in Spain just now let me let me change it to this one price so should be 18 yes and uh, one thing let's do scheduling let's do scheduling uh, to hide this sell price for example today is 2nd of December uh, let's set it to this range of date so just now we'll see uh, not 18 it should be 30 let's check it yes it works because we just should do the sale price and this works fine with the customer uh, with the currency switcher uh, let's make let's add it to through the card and uh, <coughs> this one it's a previous. and let's make checkout so we have right price we have any shipping but and let's proceed to checkout and we should get order we should one moment we should get order uh, for this for this price let's select a direct bank transfer or even PayPal because 100% uh, warranty that with direct bank transfer we will go to this amount. Let's check PayPal is more complex. $44 should be. Yes, $44. So I can I can cancel it. Anyway, after canceling we can check uh, which order we got. Yes, $44. So, this hint 
as works. So I think it will help you with marketing for your shop. See you. Bye.